During the American Revolutionary War, Patrick Henry made the famous statement, give me liberty or give me death. Of all of the problems that America may have, our achievements, our glory far outshines any of that. We are above all a free people, free to think, free to speak, free to worship, free to better ourselves, free to work and to produce. Freedom is the great virtue of America. And America's birth with the vision, that is the American dream people talk about. It is the dream of being completely free. In every struggle we've ever had, even the war we fought, the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, ending slavery, the Civil Rights Act, all of the great challenges we have faced, the outcome has been the goal of freedom, making sure that people are free. And today our nation is in need of revival. And every nation goes through seasons like this. And the greatest cure for the ills of America today is the gospel of Christ, a change of people's hearts. We focus on changing policies and programs and politicians and all that is important. But the great need we have is the change of the human heart. The better we are as people, the better society we have to live in. This week is National Day of Prayer. We're fortunate to be in a nation where we declare every year by an act of Congress and a resolution signed by the president, a national day of prayer. And we're observing that national day as a church family. The Bible tells us in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, God says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and heal their land. And Jesus said in Matthew 21 and 22, all things are possible when we pray. When you pray, believe that you receive, Jesus taught us, because all things are possible through prayer. And if we ever get discouraged because of the times, we need to remember that every season of history goes through challenges like ours. But we can pray for our nation, and we do. And we can vote for politicians and policies that align with Christian virtues and Christian values and we should, and we can be good citizens. We can serve our communities to make the best cities, communities, towns, states, and nation that we can all share and enjoy together. We can love each other and respect one another. Love your neighbors yourself is the royal law found in Scripture in both the Old and New Testament, and in that way, we help build a better America. Spend a few minutes on your own wherever you are to thank God for the freedom we have and to pray for our nation. I'd like for you to join me now as together we offer prayer for our country. Father, we thank you and we praise you for the gift of freedom, the privilege of living in this great land. We are honored that we have a national day of prayer. We do not take that for granted. We lift our president to you, the members of Congress, Supreme Court, our governors, our mayors of our cities, the state legislatures, the courts that rule in this land, these men and women in leadership, we pray for them, that you'll give them a heart after you like David had, that they'll have a true born-again experience, that they'll have a heart of faith and hope and love, always in their heart and conscience to serve the good of the people. We pray that you'll remove the wicked from high places that govern in an oppressive way that you would have mercy on us and replace them with godly men and women, righteous men and women who do the right thing for the right reason to honor you, that you'll raise up leaders. Your word tells us in Proverbs that when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, but when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So we do pray, Lord, that you'll give us godly leaders to lead us. We pray for healing. Above all, we pray for revival. We pray for the pastors of our churches, for every church, for churches that have gotten off course, some that have abandoned the gospel, that you'll raise up a generation of young men, young women to preach the gospel of Christ with passion, to bring hope to the world. Send revival, we pray, in this generation. I thank you for the Mount Perrin family. We pray together in faith today, believe, and I pray you'll continue to bless them and prosper them mightily. And above all things this week, Father, bless this nation in Jesus' name. 
Thank you for joining me for this time. I'm praying for you as well. Appreciate your partnership and ministry. May God bless you and your family richly, and may God bless America.